I need to vent. DJI's geofencing is driving me absolutely nuts. If you don't know what geofencing is, it's DJI's attempt to prevent drone pilots from flying into sensitive areas, like prisons, airports, any place there's a TFR, nuclear plants, and things like that. And on the surface, it's a pretty good system, but the application is where it breaks down. So before I get into what my story is, let me read you a couple things from the DJI website. Now this is right from the DJI website on their FlySafe database. It says, certain geo zones don't prohibit flight, but do trigger warnings that inform users of potential risk. Well, we've seen that in the past. Warning zones where we self-authorize and get to fly, so that's consistent. Second one, by default, geo limits flights into or taking off within zones that raise safety or security concerns, okay? If a flight within one of these locations has been authorized, GEO allows users with verified DJI accounts to temporarily unlock or self-authorize their flights. This unlock function is not available for sensitive national security locations. Still okay, but here comes the CYA. The GEO system is advisory only. Each user is responsible for checking official sources and determining what laws or regulations might apply to his or her flight. In some instances, DJI has selected widely recommended general parameters without making any determination of whether this guidance matches regulations that may specifically apply to you. And this is where the thing breaks down. So what happened? Well, during my last class, we'd finish up with classroom work and head to the field where we could do our hands-on practice. First thing I did, this is, well, first of all, this is a field I'd been to for four years. I have two alternates. First thing we did was pull out the small training drones. Everybody got a chance of that? They flew with no problem. Next thing we did, brought out the Phantom. Fired it up. I did get a warning because we're in a warning area and it asked me to self-certify. I self-certified, the drone fired up, we took off, finished doing our exercises and everything was fine. So then we moved up to the Mavic 2 Pro. Now this is a drone I've been using in the same area for well over a year. Cranked it up, linked everything up. The first notice I get on my controller is no fly zone. And then on my monitor, a big red cannot take off. I thought, well, that's interesting. I wonder what's going on here. So I shut it down, turned it on again, same problem. Well, at this point I said, well, I think we're done here, guys. So let's move over to an alternate field I've got where I know there's no warning zones. So we picked up everything, moved over there, once we got there, I got the DJI out again, the Mavic 2 Pro, and guess what? No fly zone cannot take off. Well, this is making no sense to me, except I remembered the week before I upload, uploaded a fly safe database update from DJI. I'm thinking, well, maybe that's the problem, but I can't do anything there. I have to wait till I get home. So in the meantime, I pull out the Parrot Anafi Thermal that we own. It took off, flew, no issues. But the reason for that is, is Parrot does not equip their drones with geofencing, so it was good. Now, I also had the Inspire 2, and I thought, well, what are the chances the Inspire 2 is going to fly? <laughs> Probably pretty slim. Pulled out of the car, you know, it takes a while to assemble these. Hooked it up, linked everything up, didn't even get a warning. Took off, flew without incident, and everything was fine. So at that point, I was totally confused. So the next thing I did was pull out the Before You Fly app. Now that's an app that's put together by the FAA and it tells us whether we're in, we're in restricted areas or warning areas or good to go areas. And in both instances, I was given a green to go in both of these fields. So I'm still really concerned about what's going on at this point. So why did this happen? Well, when I went home that evening, I checked the DJI website, went to their FlySafe database. And sure enough, I don't know when they changed it, but the area I was in was now shown as a no-fly zone. I thought, well, that's crazy, because the FAA is still saying I'm good to go. So I looked a little further, and there was a pin in that area, and I clicked on the pin, and it said unlock code available. Stranger still. So I tap on that, it says I can apply for an unlock code. So I had to find my serial number for my controller, 
input that, tell them I'm flying a Mavic 2 Pro, and it immediately gave me an unlock code. Okay, then I had to take the unlock code and apply it to the app and upload it to the aircraft. You know, quite a few steps to go through here. And if you're in the field and don't have internet access, that could be a real problem. So I did all that. Next day at the end of class, we went back out there just to try it. Start up the Pro, guess what? No fly zone again, cannot take off. Well, when I went into my app and saw the unlock code section, I hit the activate. It activated both of those permissions I got and I was ready to go. And when I applied for it the night before, it gave me a two day window to operate. So anytime I go back out there, I'm gonna have to apply for a temporary unlock code. I choose to fly based on FAA guidelines. I don't want DJI telling me where and where I can't fly. But with the FAA telling me I can fly and DJI locking my drone down, that becomes a real problem, particularly if you're running a business. So if you're running a business, I would recommend you do two things before you go out. Put the address into your Before You Fly app. That'll tell you what the FAA says. But unfortunately, now you're gonna have to bring up the DJI Fly Safe website and double check, because I'd hate for you to get out in the field and not be able to fly. So what's the solution? Well, outside of DJI changing their policy, which is unlikely, what I'm gonna do is because I'm fortunate to have multiple drones, I'm gonna carry my Paradinafi Thermal with me as a backup. I know it will fly. So if I get somewhere where the Pro won't fly, I can pull out the Parrot. Thanks for letting me vent. If you're enjoying these vlogs, and I hope you are, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That way I can let you know when my new videos come out. Still plan on posting every Tuesday, but may often if more things come up. And if you feel like it, share it with your friends. And each week, I'm ending with a video or photo taken from a drone. Here's this week's video. And thank you for watching.